on that theory or promote any theory. I'm just here to talk about something that is important for us. Common interest, absolutely. Common interest. And that we have so many people in this country that are taking a statin drug and it might not be the best solution for them. Because going back towards the beginning, when a person tells me that they have high cholesterol, that already telling me I'm highly, highly stressed. So then we have to look at the factors and the foundations of health, how that person and cholesterol levels have raised to the degree that they have and why. In my opinion, if you're not eating right, if you're not drinking water, if you're not resting, which we're gonna go over and over the, the foundations and the principles of health, if you're not following those precepts, you'll never be healthy and most likely your body's gonna be highly, highly stressed. As a sign of high stress, your cholesterol goes just as high. Just so, because it needs to help your body to deal absolutely. with Absolutely. So now, let me give you one piece of advice if you want to start you know, seeing your cholesterol improve. You have and you must consume plenty of saturated fat. Yeah, I said it. But now, that saturated fat has to come from an animal that was actually raised outside in a healthy environment. In a healthy organic ecosystem. Otherwise, the animal is going to be just as sick as we can potentially get. As we know, animals, when they're fed, the garbage that they are fed in the conventional system, right? Those animals, they're actually going to store all their toxins once the liver gets loaded, which happens quickly, in their, in their body fat. So, guess what? Just by eating, consuming, you know, processed meat in the sense of conventional yeah. meat, you're actually consuming the same toxins that your body is trying to get rid of. Exactly. And you make yourself highly sick. Very, very sick, very, very stressed. And there goes your cholesterol. The sicker you become, the faster you have to replace cells. So the more cholesterol you need to rebuild. More cement, like Aaron was talking about in the means of construction. So there you have it. You must eat naturally raised, outside, organic environment, meat. And plenty of it if you need it. Now, a uh, couple of things. Uh Cholesterol medication drugs usually have a side effect, and the one side effect is a problem with the liver. Yes. The reason is your liver actually produces cholesterol. Right, your liver has some So anytime you start messing with the liver and then you make the liver not to produce the cholesterol, it gets a side effect of liver is not working properly. That's and number one. Anybody that has any questions, just go back to the internet, go to a reputable Do a search and look on the side effects of cholesterol medication, statin drugs, whatever you want to call them. Another fact that I think is very important, there is such a thing as a rancid cholesterol. Yes. And the rancid cholesterol comes from the processed foods, mm -hmm. specifically the ones that are most common are powdered, uh, powdered eggs and powdered milk. Now, anytime you buy a fat-free milk, just by virtue they remove the fat, there is no consistency to it. Right. So the manufacturer adds a powdered milk into the milk. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to end up having, actually the product that has no fat, it's absolutely denatured with no life force. Not only that, there's a whole lot of rancid cholesterol right. inside of it. Which is a, a potentially large oxidant. Oh, by the way, one of the main important things that I forgot to mention, cholesterol, believe it or not, is antioxidant. Think about it. Antioxidants, that's what everybody wants. That's something that fights free radicals. Mm -hmm. And free radicals are the guys that created damage in your body. There you go. So there's a food for thought. Think about it. Ask a question. You have anything else? Yeah. Oh, uh, you want to recommend some books? Absolutely. If you have any uh, any interest in finding more information, there's a real good book that we have read, you know, interesting. It's called The Cholesterol Myth. And the author is Ufe something. What does that say there? Uh, Ravzenkov. There you go. That's the Ruski talking to you. R-A-V-N-S-K-O-V. Even Rav's though he's not R Russian, he's Danish, I think. Good for him. Mm -hmm. And there's the other book that he mentioned earlier, Eat Fat, Lose Fat, by Mary Yannick, Dr. Mary Yannick and Sally Fallon. And uh, there's one uh, more thing that I will tell you about. Go on the internet, Google the myth of cholesterol, and it will give you a presentation that's very, very interesting with a lot more detail that we have mentioned about. We just created a synopsis based mostly on that. Mm -hmm. And there's another really cool website. It's called 29billionreasons with a B dot com. Go check that out, all the information that is there. It will surprise you how much or how little we know about the truth about cholesterol 
and the plethora of information that is there to help us overcome the stress that we suffer and therefore you know regulate our cholesterol. And 29 billion is the number that stands for how much cholesterol medication sold every year. Money talks. Money talks. And BS walks. <laughs> and BS walks. Uh, you have anything else, brother? That will be it for today. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Post your comments. If you have any agreements or disagreements, we'd like to hear it. And we'll discuss it. We'll argue. We'll chat and see what we can get out of it. Have a good one.